All right. So we've we've talked a lot about owner occupied. Now let's talk about I own I own a two unit. I own, whatever. I own a three unit. I live in it. I want to invest. I want to buy one that I'm not going to be owner occupied. Do you recommend doing that in your personal name, or at least can you talk about the differences between buying that second property in a personal name as an investment property or buying it in an LLC? Absolutely. So commercial lending, much different than residential lending. Okay. Residential lending, you're um, getting pre-approved based upon your income and the property's income. Commercial lending is a lot more skewed just towards the property and the property's cash flow. Your personal information does back it, but they are underwritten a little bit differently. What I will say is a lot of commercial lending and banks don't want to lend on residential properties unless you have a portfolio and history for more than two years. Okay. Um, so that's why you see a lot of times uh, investors, and I get this question all the time from clients or realtors, you're allowed up to 10 Fannie or Freddie loans uh, on your credit report or mortgages uh, before you're considered that you have to go commercial. Okay. Um, commercials a little bit that, you know, there's not as many 30 year fixed products. Usually there's some sort of arm product. Um, there's a little bit more risk on the commercial side. Um, so what I would always suggest is buy it personally, move them into an LLC. Okay. And then once you accumulate a couple years of rehabs or rentals or flips, then at that point, you know, look to combine those loans to free up either more Fannie and Freddie opportunity for yourself or you're at a lower loan to value to get better commercial terms. Okay, so one commercial three unit property, you're not gonna get very aggressive bank terms. There's not a whole lot of banks out there with an appetite for that. However, if you have six mortgages at a combined 65 loan to value because you've held them for two years, they're, they're cash flow positive. Now you can do a wraparound loan on those loans, get very good terms, very aggressive terms and get cash flow positive all while still giving you outs to sell them individually if you need to. Um, so I always say do residential as long as you can, you're gonna get better terms, interest rate and cost, uh, but eventually down the road as your portfolio grows, you are going to have to eventually turn that into uh, a commercial, some type of commercial lending. 